Welcome back, guys, to Trails to Azure, where last episode, after Ernest's defeat, he found himself to be melting away in his true demon form. With Lloyd stepping up to tell him to not give up, this gave enough pause for the Growls to Kevin Graham to appear and save the criminal, bringing the events of the Altair Lodge to an end with both fugitives back in custody, as everyone returned to Crossbell, with Reese Argent also sneaking into city limits. With the SSS now back in action with Noel and Wazi added to their ranks, the prologue came to an end, and we now begin our first chapter. Two days after the arrest at Altair Lodge. You best friends, are you? Eh? What's going on out here? Lots of development. Here we go, we already have a few. Yes, of course we do. <laughs> I remember these. They're the support requests the SSS always receives, right? Yep, we usually get them every day in a single batch. Generally, it's up to us to decide how many we'll actually respond to. You mean all of them? I said any requests marked urgent have to be dealt with no matter what. Sounds reasonable enough. I assume the ones that have a later deadline are fine to leave for another day? Sure, if you prefer it that way. Okay, no. No, well, uh, no, that's not how this works, Wazzy. I know you're new here. It's not how this works. We do all the optional before we do any of the urgent if we can. Lloyd, get this right. Sure, if you prefer it that way, he says. Whenever we check the terminal, it'll let us know how much time we have remaining. We can also check the status of a request in the detective notebook. The detective notebook? Do you mean that little black book you write in every so often, Ellie? Yes, this one. We use them to jot down any new developments on our investigations and support requests. It's a good way to keep track of multiple cases at once. It also serves the manual for our tactical orbans, the Enigmas. That's pretty nifty. Though I do get the feeling your little notebook will become orbalized like everything else someday. You're right, I heard from Tio that the Foundation is already doing research for that. I'm not so sure I could handle that much orbalization myself. Agreed, I think old fashioned pen and paper are the perfect match. Anyway, this is how we do things here at the Special Support section. Let's start by checking the details of those requests on the terminal. Roger! I look forward to seeing what's in store. When you inspect the terminal of the SSS and choose Check Requests, a list of available support requests is displayed. Support requests marked as urgent are mandatory and will advance the story upon being completed. Other support requests are completely optional, but doing them in Jumeirah and DP. Be careful not to take too long or they may expire. Of course, no matter what, if you want to do everything in this game, you kind of got to try to do everything you can to the highest score you can. Because if it's anything like Trails from Zero, there was at least one quest gated behind your DP value. Which wasn't good. We hit it, so that's fine. But I would have hated to be the person who didn't get to do that. Especially because it was like the quest it was. Right, well, let's find out the urgent ones first. An enigma to me. CBD headquarters requested that I give you guys a short lesson on how to operate your Enigma 2s. Just in case you somehow forgot, you can find me in my usual spot, the customer service counter at Genten Orbital Store, right off of Central Square. This is on a short. Spot the secretary. A few days ago, the First Division's Intel network received unconfirmed accounts that Imperial Secretary Lecter Arundel had arrived in Crossbell. Oh, well. We requested that the special support section verify the authenticity of this information. Report to police headquarters for details. Go to the casino, then. Maybe. <laughs> There's on a Melden monster extermination. Okay, what? What? Why? Like seriously, why? Uh, and it's a superior mosquito again. A dangerous monster, Superior Mosquito, has been sighted in the downtown district apartment complex Maison Imelda. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. Please retrieve the key to the building from Imelda, the owner of the antique shop in the back alley. Imelda, didn't you want us to clear it out so you could do something with it or sell it because of property prices maybe or something like that, if I remember correctly, in the first place? Well, the suggestion is that this quest get done after the shorts. That's interesting. 
But we cleared it out once. Couldn't they, you know, do something and make sure that monsters didn't come back and breed there again? West Crossbell, we're already leaving. West Crossbell Highway Monster Extermination. A dangerous monster, Bubbly Sisters G is back. It's been sighted on West Crossbell Highway. We ask that the special support section deal with this threat swiftly. Both of these are on a medium and both of these are on a short. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I've won. It seems there's nothing you have to support now. I'll be here when you have something new for me. Talk to you later. I still want to do them first, but still. That's two monster extermination cases and two urgent requests. Enigma 2 training aside, this other one seems pretty significant. Right, I never expected the Lecter character would return to Crossbell. I mean, that guy who tried to play dumb at the Schwartz auction, right? That didn't fool me at all. I could tell he was far from ordinary. I read a file on him back when I was training with the 1st Division. He's Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. He also appears to be a second secretary for the Imperial Government. He's part of their intelligence agency. Yes, from what I can tell, he is highly capable of handling political affairs. His elusive nature must be the result of his extensive training as well. I wager half of it comes naturally, though. Anyway, considering he's an Imperial Secretary and Intelligence Officer, would that make him the famous Blood and Iron Chancellor's confidant? Where does was he get all this info? Yeah, according to the First Division's intel, he reports directly to Chancellor Osborne. They confirmed that he visited Crossbell with the Chancellor last year to have an informal meeting with Speaker Hartman. He even said as much himself. We all swore he was joking, but it turned out to be truer than we could have imagined. In other words, we're dealing with someone who's anything but normal. Well, well, sounds intriguing. Just to confirm, handling support requests within the city is our highest priority, right? Yeah, we'll have to go on the highway for one of those wanted monsters, but we can leave that for later. It's been a few months since Ravash's demise. Things are already beginning to move in the underworld, slowly but surely. Yeah, such as Hayway and the Imperial Government's recent activity. I'm sure that trade conference at the end of the month will play a large role. What trade conference? The International Forum our new mayor proposed. A number of world leaders are supposed to be in town. Exactly. Mayor Dieter Kreuz is sponsoring it. It's an economic summit where he, along with representatives from Erebonia, Calva, Libo, and Remiferi will meet. Its official name is the Western Maria Trade Conference. I don't think anyone expected him to organize such a large-scale event so quickly after assuming office. And I suppose nothing's impossible for the CEO of the illustrious IBC. I've never actually spoken to the man, but he sounds incredibly capable. You've met him once before, right, Wazzy? Well, that I did, back when I got my letter of recommendation. I was surprised he was willing to advocate for some ruffian fresh out of a street gang to join the force. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying this, but he's too generous for his own good. This is no laughing matter, Wazzy. It certainly was for Uncle Dieter. He let out his usual hearty guffaw and commented on what an amusing kid you were. Oh, you guys are hard at it already, eh? Chief Sergei. Good morning, sir. At ease, soldier. The SOSS is pretty hands-off for the most part. You can do as you see fit. I don't plan to interfere unless the situation is dire. Uh, understood. I guess he's all well, then. Hm, surprisingly accommodating for a superior officer, aren't you? I don't know if I'd put it like that. Chief is only so laissez-faire because watching over us would be too bothersome. Ah, uh, you know me too well. However, today is an exception. I've got a direct order for you guys. What? Fr from you, Chief? Yeah, I can wait until you finish handling your support request, though. You'll be going to the police academy. The police academy? You mean on the West Crossville Highway? It's right next to the CGF's training grounds. Yeah, well, you and Lloyd are well acquainted with it already, I'm sure. I'll ring you on your enigma once I'm done setting things up on my end. Until then, work for your support request and patrol the city. Uh, roger that, I think. Wait, what exactly do you need us to do there? Eh, uh, you'll just have to wait and see. I'll contact you later. I'm heading out. Uh, sorry, Noel. This is just the way the SSS operates. Well, if you look at it positively, he's fostering our independence and honing our judgment. Sort of. Right, that's Chief Sergei for you. Ingenious as ever. They do say perspective is everything. Anyway, are we going to check out the city? We sure are. Oh yeah, Kia said she was about to leave for Sunday school. Seeing as the Chief's already out, maybe we should go see her off. Absolutely. Let's head to the third floor and check if Kia's ready. 
Well, not before we have a look around and see if there's anything worth poking our head around, you know? I still rather get those mediums, even if they are mediums, done before I get the shorts done. Do you know what I mean? Even if we can definitely do whatever those shorts are before the medium. Eh, nah. It's Lloyd's room. Nothing is special about it. Do you got new jackets up? Did he have them up before? I'm trying to think if anything's changed. This is Randy's. This is Randy's room. He's taking part in the Bell Guard unit's rehabilitation training right now. If my memory serves me right, they were given some sort of that drug, or well, some of that drug, during the coal incident, right? Right, they aren't suffering from any serious after effects, thankfully. It'll take some time for them to get their senses and stamina back to where they were, though. I see. Well, I'm wishing all the guardsmen a speedy recovery. Yes, and hopefully Randy will get to come home sooner rather than later. So we're not allowed in, then. Yeah. Is this your room, then? Welcome to Chateau de Wazi. I know. Hold the applause. Whoa, this is one classy room. S seriously, it's like something you'd only see in a model home. It's obviously took you no time at all to get settled in. The decor looks rather expensive, and there's so much of it, too. I asked an acquaintance of mine for a favor, and he hooked me up. I don't mind any of you dropping in unannounced if you ever feel the need to unwind. Speaking of which, how about we crack open that bottle over there to celebrate a successful move-in? How about we don't? We're still, you know, on duty. Yeah, so cards are out. He's just on point with his decor, I guess. His old clothes are on here, yeah? This is the chief's room. No one cares about talking about it, but we just invaded it. And we got your room. We got the flowers we put in here. They're here. This is Tio's room. She's still taking care of business out in Le Mans State, right? Yeah, the Epstein Foundation have her and Yona working in one of their research labs. State law revisions have made it easier to expand the orbital network, so that's what they've been assisting with. I can't say I understand all the details, but it sounds like they're keeping busy. I just hope she can come back soon. Well, here's my room. Army green. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really have much to decorate with, so sorry if it looks a little bare bones. I call it more tidy than anything. Indeed, it's exactly what I would expect of someone like you, Noel. So, um, about the stuffed animals over there? Oh, that. Fred and I share a matching pair of plushies. I brought it with me from the CGF barracks. You did, huh? Honestly, it kind of helps put the room together. Glad you think so. I'm still not entirely adjusted yet, but even so, it's good to be here. You bring your plushie over, did you? I was expecting to find, like, loads of ammo around the place, but that might be what's stored in here, to be honest. Where's the beanie? Um, so I substitute this value into this formula and... Oh, I didn't check out cop first. Yippee, I did it! Kia? Oh, Lloyd! You have Sunday school today, don't you? Shouldn't you get ready to leave soon? Oh, yeah, I guess it's about time to meet up with Rio and them. Are you all going out for work? Uh-huh, we were thinking we could all leave together if you want. Oh, were you doing some reviewing before class? Mm-hmm, yep. You're such a good girl, Kia. I don't think I ever studied yet any more than I had to back in Sunday school. Eh, that's more than I could say. I hardly even showed up. Figured it made more sense to learn on my own than be taught by some incompetent priest. Oh, I see. Could you please not set a bad example for Kia? Huh? Hmm, sounds like I upset Mama Bear and Papa Bear. Huh? Well, I see. What's wrong? I was just marveling at how advanced Crossbell's curriculum is. More importantly, shouldn't we be going? Yeah. Are you coming with us, Kia? Yep, give me one sec. Okay, all set. Alright, let's go. Why don't we take Kia out the back exit? You'd think that uh, Wazzy would be able to hold a poker face a little bit better. As flipping. You got an emoji on your suitcase? <laughs> I don't know. Can't miss cop. Grr. 
Hey there, Zyp. Hanging out with Cop. Oh, well, no one here can understand you. You two always do get along. This is the police dog the SSS adopted, right? Good to see you again, Zyp. Uh, woof. He said adopted is not the correct word. I am the one looking after them. Wait, you can? <laughs> My mistake. Uh, well, true. He does help us out fairly often. He's a proud pup, that's for sure. I've never been good with dogs, but I did manage to get used to Zyp eventually. I don't think I've ever met this black cat over here, though. Oh, his name is Cop. We're pretty sure he's been here since before the CNS moved out. Yako. Oh, how cute. This is so exciting. I didn't realize joining the SSS came with kitty privileges. I take you're a fan of them, Noel. I'm sure you two will have plenty of fun together in that case. Yeah. I expect to find you in Noel's room, just living there now. Oh, yeah, we should feed Cop. Meow. Actually, I think he's full now. The chief must have given him something to eat before he left. Oh, that's kind of a letdown. Don't worry, Noel. We can bring him some fish next time we catch them. Okay, we, we can't feed you yet. Still green, yeah. Uh, is something wrong? Woof. Not at all, he says. Oh, oh, okay. We'll just get out of your hair then. Take care of the SSS building for us, okay? See you later, Zype. Woof. Good boy, Zype. I don't know why Zite does a lot of the stuff that Zite does. I feel like he just sees it as a cushy job in the end. We need more expansion on Zite. So what's with the tarpaulin and the, the guarding off of everything here? He told us to go by the back exit. You forgot that this happened? We just didn't check. Wait a second. Well, when did this happen? Uh, was the rear exit always like this? Perhaps someone commissioned some renovations to be done. Oh yeah, you guys weren't here. Some construction people came by while you were on your trip. I guess the chief called them in. Oh, really? I didn't notice any of this yesterday. Makes me wonder what the chief's up to. Well, I'm sure he has a good reason for it, whatever it is. In any case, it may be better if we don't leave this way. Yeah, let's go out the entrance downstairs. Interesting that it's gating us from here at the moment. Something's being built by the SSS building. Chief Sergei must have commissioned it. So what did he commission? Much interest. Much intrigue. Wait. That looks like we're keeping bottles of, like, petrol or something in here. Next to the stove. That seem like the best place of storage. Were they always there? Right, well, I guess here we go. The first sweep of Crossbell. Trails to Azure style. Don't let this barrier stop you time to get over it. No, I can't get over any barriers. I'm doing my stretching. So you told me you kids were starting back up again. Ah, uh, where's the redhead and that kid with the orbital staff? Both of them still have some business they're taking care of. Ah, uh, okay. And these two here must be your newest members. Sergey, fill me in on what arms you prefer, so let me know if you see anything you like. I'm very considerate of him to lay the groundwork for us. Thank you very much, sir. I've got all the weapons anyone could ever need. Go ahead and take a look. Giron likes us much more. So we have upgrades to begin with. Rusted looking Tomfers lined with metal rivets. I feel that's better than like Zamurian weaponry now. Are we already at that already? It's interesting that we don't have the other's weapons in here. Which means that they're most likely not going to be here for our first chapter. Ash Peter. So SMGs equipped laser sights made by the Vern Company. We've got all oh, the leather. So the current stuff is already equipped. It's just these guys' stuff. We start with 20,000 mirror. That's uh, nice. Watch as I try to run through there as fast as I can. Twin hammer for Lloyd. Okay, so they've already got, like, the defensives overall. The trekking boots are better than spike gears. But not by much. We might be able to find some stuff we equip along the way. Can already get prevent death blow already. Oh, shoot. Good point, sir. <laughs> what have these guys got? We need some Master Courts as stat. I mean, they have an evade one, which doesn't even make sense for you. Well, I guess you're getting some wind power. Uh, do you want this? I'll have that. I'll have the evade. It does make sense in the fact that he gives you stuff. Oh, you got hit one. That's good. 
Because that gives you spells after all. At this point, you're not doing well for overall spells, are you? Whereas Sparkle would be pretty good. Well, we might be able to make some quartz. So how do I go about avoiding stuff? Oh no, I'm just getting sucked into stuff. Hey, Kia! Hello, Ryu and Henry. Hey, Ryu. Hey, Henry. You're late. We were waiting for you in front of the bakery. Come on, class is about to start. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hey there, you two. You're as energetic as ever. It's good to see you're getting along so well with Kia. Oh, you guys are back. Yeah, long time no see. Kia told us about it already. You're starting the SS up again, right? Yeah, thankfully. We'll be revamping a few things around here, so stay tuned, okay? Hm, I'll believe it when I see it. Still, I guess you guys are good enough to be on the same level as the braces now. Almost. Come on, Ryu. Why do you always have to be so rude? <laughs> Can't say I'm surprised the SSS is popular with kids, too. Oh, who's that behind you? I don't think I've ever seen them before. Uh, actually, I don't see Tio or Randy anywhere either. I'm busy taking care of some unfinished business right now. These two are Noel and Wazi, the newest members of the SSS. Noel, Noel, nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Hold on a sec, is the other one a guy or a girl? I mean, your face is kind of girly, but... But Ryu! Eh, good question. If you think I'm a girl, then who am I to say otherwise? Come on, Wazzy. Stop trying to confuse the kids. And more importantly, shouldn't the three of you get going already? Oh, yeah. See you later, everyone. Good luck with work. Good luck to you too, Kia. Watch out for cars, okay? Uh-huh. Cool. Let's get to Momo's place. Yeah, we need to hurry. Oh, to be a kid again. Those boys, were they from West Street? One of them is, the other is from the residential district. Anyway, let's get to work. We can stop by Genten and headquarters to start. It'd be a good idea to give the city a once over while we're at it. Oh, like a patrol. Yes, though perhaps not as official. They're a helpful source of information. Sometimes we'll run into people who need our assistance as well. The chief should call us on my enigma sometime later. Let's go check out the city while we're waiting. Roger. Bye by me, shall we? Oh, yes. Chapter 1, Bright Skies, Gathering Storms, gets underway. The Crossbow City map can now be opened. While inside the city, press plus to bring up a map of the city. Press plus again for a map of the state. If you're inside the city, you can use the map as a shortcut to travel around quickly. We already have that kind of fast travel. We can't go to Ursula Road, but we can't go to Mines Mountain Path, interestingly. We can't go to Station Street? If you're inside the city, you can use the map as a shortcut to travel around quickly. To fast travel, select an area listed on the left side of the screen. Be aware that in some situations, fast travel will be unavailable. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I can't go out on the highway anyway. Oh, wait, so I have to complete the shorts before I start the... thingies? I can only go out to Mines. I'm guessing I can go out to Mines Mountain Path because that leads to the cathedral and the cathedral's open. I'm interested in the fact that I can't go out to West Crossbell Highway, despite the fact I literally have a quest there. Oh, I guess it maybe it wants us to do the shorts first, then. Especially because I realized that one of my shorts here in Central Square, wasn't it the one gating me buying quartz? So that's a thing. Obviously, it'll probably give me master quartz or teach me about them for the other two. The other two aren't battle ready at the moment. That's the thing about it. That's different. So yeah, I can't go out to the West Cross Bay Highway Monster Extermination at all. Hmm. It's not the secretary. That seems like a bigger one. An enigma to me sounds like the one I should do first. Why can't I go out to Station Street? Oh, I just can't fast travel to Station Street? Why can't I not fast travel to Station Street? Door is locked. Can't go in the geofront. Wow, so this is what Crossbell's like. Come on, mummy, let's go. Once you get started like this, I'm powerless to do anything about it. Not that I blame him. Isn't Crossbell City spectacular? Thank goodness nothing ever stops the Transcontinental Railroad. Those trains are my whole life. They're majestic yet sensual frameworks. They're resplendent liveries, reminiscent of the Vault of Heavens. The Vaults of Heaven. 
I transcend the fixed constraints of reality every time I see one. Life is anything but a rail fan, just wouldn't be worth living. I'm not saying double dialogue. We run a private shipping company called Rhymes Deliveries. My old man's the president of our staff. Our motto is service is polite, delivered at the speed of light. I hope you'll consider us if you ever need any, or ever have any packages that need sending. This is the city southern exit. We don't have any business out there at the moment, so let's turn back for now. I hope you'll consider us if we ever need any service. We can't go in Crossbell Station. Ah, oh, yes, we can go to Station Street. Yeah, you're right. Now, please, I guess you might know my name by now, or my organization's name. Oh, hi, Lloyd. Hi, Ellie. Hi. Uh, wait, you're not Tia and Randy. Is the special support section still on vacation? Not exactly, Mimi. Randy and Tio still have other work to do, so they'll be busy a while longer. That's right. As for these two, they're our most recent additions to the SSS. Oh, really? So that makes you the new special support section now, huh? Well, she's not wrong. Nice to meet you, Mimi. Uh-huh. Nice to meet you, too. Go, go. New special support section. She's mastered the name. I saw an orbital car practically fly through Central Square just the other day. So like any good citizen, I immediately reported them to police for blatant speeding. I wonder if they ever caught the driver, though. I'm worried it might happen a second time. Then again, with our current traffic laws, even reckless driving would only get you slapped with a fine and sent on your merry way. Dyer has been making recent strides in strengthening penalties for traffic violations, though, so that gives me hope for the future. So basically, things have not rocketed on. So yeah, we're on our first sweep. But by the look of it, I should probably... In a, I don't know. Should I inter... I should do one of these quests, shouldn't I? All the corrupt members of the Republican and Imperial factions that were involved with the cult are now gone. Even Ravash is out too. And yet, the status quo remains the same. The Imperial faction still has an edge when it comes to diet seats. I've heard about Mayor Kreuz's strenuous efforts to speed up legal reforms, but he still has a long, long road ahead of him. What's the name of that other group? Hayway? I hear talk that they've begun throwing more of their weight around now that Ravash is gone. Mayor Croy still has a long, long road ahead of him. Hopefully he can put laws in a place that allow his citizens to live in peace. They're the only racket in town now, aren't they? I asked Celtio to develop his own menu item, but it turned out gut-wrenchingly dreadful. It's not as though he doesn't have the culinary talent, but if this keeps up, it's going to be a while before he becomes a real chef. What, the one at the end of thingy? It's not as if Celtio's lacking in culinary talent or anything, but the way he's going, it'll be a while before he becomes a real chef. He was deliberately trying an odd dish, though. I uh, wonder where exactly my new dish fell short. Flavors and presentation came together, and that spine-chilling texture was to die for. Spine-chilling? I don't think I want to find out just how literal that to die for is. Wetlands Monster Ice Stew Abaddon style. <laughs> Abaddon, sure. I thought for sure it would end up rocking the culinary world. But that's one interesting name. At least it tells you exactly the kind of unpalatable experience you're in for. <laughs> Maybe. Good day, everyone, and welcome to Vink Sept. We've recently rotated our seasonal options, so the menu may be a little different than you remember. Chef Braun is quite proud of the new dishes he's created, so I hope you'll consider giving them a try. Fried fish and milk potage. ATS plus 25%, eh? Okay. Okay. If any of them catch your eye, please give them a try. Didn't really change much of your dialogue, did you? Ah, phew. This restaurant's the perfect place to get lost in a good book. Give me a book. And it's just the right amount of noise to stop your mind from wandering, not to mention a steady supply of coffee. I'm sure you said that the first time we met you last time. Now then, I do believe I'll spend the day finishing this book I borrowed from the library. Oh, you can't give us that book then. What over there is one of our regulars. It's pretty common for her to come in right when we open and make herself comfortable up until closing. Fortunately, though, she's considerate enough to keep putting in orders throughout the day. She'll even give up her seat during peak hours. Oh, okay. Does she work? <laughs> yeah, plus these prices are easy on my wallet. I can get used to this. What prices? Oh, it's you two. This restaurant's a little plain in the decor department, but the food is a completely different store. No, they're tourists. You can say I'm really getting a taste for it. Mm -hmm. I thought that they were the two outside the department store times, but uh, obviously not. They're probably there waiting outside of times. Hmm, it was nothing, honey. This is the least I can do in return for all you take care of at home. Thank you for getting us these reservations, dear. I couldn't ask for a more thoughtful man. No double dialogue for just standard citizens. And uh, most importantly, 
Yeah. You need to find a recipe book. Um, ooh, do I look like the kind of dweeb who does her homework? More importantly, I've got an Ariel's update. Did you hear he's out of town on another business trip? Ah, oh, kill me. I just remember that we have Sunday school tonight. You finish your homework, Pruna. Come here, you, before you leave. What the heck is wrong with my dad, who just sits around the house naked all the time? Who? I'm a young woman, I'll have you know. He has to be committing a crime or free. Oh, I just want to move out and live on my own already. He's trying to get you to move. <laughs> Why can't life just give me a house or something? I don't even care where. Because you're young. And, uh... Everyone hates you. Basically. <laughs> Is that too real to say? Governments don't want you getting houses. <laughs> the wealth should stay with the old. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I failed the entrance exam for St. Ursula Medical College yet again. You know what they say. Third time's the charm, right? Not for me. Maybe I'm not careful for all of this. What about you? What my worthless butt's good for is fetching groceries for dinner. Ah, what happened to me? Welcome to Legion's Foods. If you're interested looking for the best ingredients in town, you've come to the right place. Did you know there's a store that makes healthy juice using our fresh ingredients? Give it a shot sometime. Advertising your child, are you? My daughter runs it up the road in the administrative district. That's a good mum to send custom your way. If you're in the mood for juice, give the store in the administrative district a shot. Everything they make is courtesy of our fresh ingredients. Good mum. So all the ingredients are available. Not that we can be cooking. Thank you for shopping at times. This is the reception desk. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'll do my best to answer. Except I can't ask you any questions. Have you noticed that we opened our rooftop to the public a few days ago? What? There aren't any shops up there, but it makes for a very pleasant view of the city. You're welcome to go take a look if you'd like. Our customs were filled when we decided to open our rooftop recently. We invite you to take a look and soak in the sights when you need a break. Good afternoon and welcome to Times Department Store. Ah, is that Miss Ellie I see there? They told me you've been traveling from nation to nation with Speaker McDowell. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Yes, yeah, just a few days ago, actually. The special support section is resuming operations, so you can expect we'll be giving you our business again. We'd be honored to have you. May the goddess be with you in your endeavors. You're acquainted with the manager, Ellie? Yes, he's known my grandfather for years. I've always known him to treat us well. Being the Speaker's granddaughter has its perks, so I'm sure that means you'll be hooking us all up. Right, Mr. Manager? We're her collaborators, after all. It's only fair that her VIP treatment extends to us. Unfortunately not. Miss Ellie has expressly requested that neither she nor any of you receive preferential service. As such, you and your group will be treated the same as any other customer. Sorry, Wazzy. At least you can tell people you're getting the exact same perks as me. Uh, there go all my free samples. Well, we do get a salary for a reason. Do we? <laughs> On behalf of all of us at Times, allow me to thank you for visiting today. Our fine establishment features a broad array of retailers catering to interests of all kinds. Please browse your leisure and enjoy your shopping experience. Is this viewable? Right, we can see, just see the things. Is there anything you weren't clear on? Please ask at the information desk up front. I think the sign's new, right? That's Smishy. Lots of Mishy products. Wow, this general store really does have a dedicated Mishy corner. Opportunities like this are once in a lifetime. I, I gotta make the most of it get Tio a gift before Tio even comes. 